All right, guys, let's continue on with the Dracula franchise from the Universal Monster movies and talk about the sequel, Dracula's Daughter, which is a really interesting sequel. I actually, re-watching this, I like this more than I did the first time I watched it. The first time I watched Dracula's Daughter, I thought it was just kind of, really just, there was nothing to it. But honestly, re-watching this one on a second viewing, I actually enjoyed this one more. Um, since... The last movie, spoilers for 1931 Dracula, at the end of the first movie, Dracula is killed. So, it's about Dracula's daughter. And I did appreciate that. And this is like one of the first ones where it's like the daughter of, or the son of, of like a monster. And it's, and I think that this one is solid in its own right. Um, it focuses on its daughter, who is wanting to get rid of this curse of Dracula, and I thought that was a really creative idea. But the basic plot at the beginning is that these two dopey cops um, from Scotland Yard um, like have Van Helsing like in prison because he killed Dracula. And they, like he tells them himself, like he murdered Dracula, like he's gone, the evil's gone. And then this lady comes in and she like hypnotizes them with this uh, ring that she has. And then you realize that Dracula's daughter. Um, you realize who it is. It's just Dracula's daughter. And Gloria Holden plays Maria, who is Dracula's daughter, and she looks the part very much so, and I do appreciate... Like, she has a really good, like... It's weird to say, like, she's got a very good, creepy face. Like, that, that sounds kind of mean to say, and not in a way where I'm saying it in a mean way, but she, she fits the role very well. And I really did think that she really looks the part like very much like she's just got that that one that little hint of like the way that she acts in the movie like she looks very creepy and very well done um and i just love how she likes to, she wants to be free of this curse that dracula that since she's dracula's daughter the curse of what she has that she wants she doesn't want to kill anybody she wants to be free of it and she thought because her father was dead now um, that she, the curse would be lifted, but apparently not. And I think that that's such a cool idea that I just didn't think about the first time I watched this, and I really like that a lot. And then there's like, but there is a couple things about this movie where I'm sitting there like, this is just kind of weird and kind of pointless. There's a character named Dr. Garth who's like the one that she keeps talking to to cure her. And there's a couple random scenes of Dr. Garth and his wife, and she's playing tricks on him, like she's talking to him on the phone, like pretending to be somebody else, and I'm just sitting there like, this is just kind of pointless, okay, just kind of a pointless, pointless scene in the movie, but there's just a couple scenes of that where I'm just like, okay, um, and they're doing 1935 level rom-com acting, and I'm just like, mm, just, just, I didn't need that, need those couple scenes, um, so I really didn't. I really didn't need that that scene at all. But, but overall, the movie I think is a re like it's a respectable sequel. Like I did like Gloria Holden. I thought she was a good replacement for Bella Lugosi. Like she actually is pretty underrated in this movie. And I don't know what else she was in because of course she was in a time period where I haven't seen a lot of these movies that she's probably done if they were not horror or whatever or anything after the Universal Monster movies, because this is the only movie she's in, in the Dracula films. I don't know what else she's acted in, like, during her time. But, she was really good. I thought the story was pretty good and solid and interesting, even though there were a couple random scenes that were just kind of weird and put in there. Um, and this one, I think, holds close to the first one. Like, I did enjoy this one way more on, on second watch than I thought I would, so... This one's close to the first one. I think that it works in a lot of ways, but a couple of ways it's just like it's kind of silly. But also the first Dracula did that too. It had a couple of really silly, pointless scenes too. So, so yeah, that's my thoughts on Dracula's Daughter from 1935. And tell me down below if you've seen this movie and what do you think about it. I want to have conversations with you guys. And if you like this, subscribe to my channel. New videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And thank you guys so much for watching.